Alright, let me explain what is Pake Doublet. The term Pake Doublet is frequently used in magnetic resonance spectroscopy to denote certain type of spectra which were first described by George Pake. Often, Pake Doublet is called Pake Pattern. Pake Pattern has the following typical form. It is symmetric with the center at some frequency nu zero. The width of the spectrum is characterized by some frequency nu bar. The peak doublet has rather sharp edges. And it has two rather sharp peaks here and here. The distance from the spectrum center to the peaks is new bar. And the distance from the spectrum center to the edges is to new bar. Further, in this video, I will try to explain what is the origin of such spectral shape. For an easier understanding, I will explain a slightly simpler spectrum at the beginning. First of all, let me remind what a spectrum is. In order to determine spectral intensity at some frequency nu, we need to choose a rather small frequency range d nu. And count how many photons are emitted in this frequency range. In order to determine the whole spectral function, such counting has to be repeated at each point of the frequency axis. In this way, we can get a spectral function. Now I will apply this definition to the following system. I will consider a system of randomly oriented molecules in space. We will assume that our molecules have a rather rigid structure and we will link an axis with each molecular and define angle theta between the axis and the z-axis of the laboratory frame. Further, we assume that the photon frequency, which are emitted by the defined molecular ensemble, depend on the angle theta as follows. Now, the question is, what is the spectral function of such a system? Or how many molecules emit photons in the frequency range in nu at the spectral position nu? Based on the last equation, we can immediately write the following correlations. This formula means that choosing of a certain frequency range d nu corresponds to a choosing of a certain angle range d theta. Now, the question is how many molecules are oriented in this angle range d theta? We can answer this question if all spatial orientation of molecules are equally probable. 
then the number of molecular is proportional to the area of a band on a sphere which is limited by polar angle theta and theta plus d theta. This band is marked with a yellow color on this sphere. It is known that the area of such a band is proportional to sinus theta d theta. And it means that the number of protons with the frequency in the range from nu to nu plus delta nu is also proportional to sinus theta d theta. By inserting the expression for theta and d theta we obtain. By fixing a very small d nu, we obtain that the spectrum is described by the sinus function. We can plot this function. Hence, we obtain the spectral line for a system of randomly oriented molecular where the frequency of the emitted photons is proportional to the angle theta between the molecular axis and the z-axis of the uh, laboratory frame. Now let's go back to the big doublet. Here we assume a more complicated photon frequency on the angle theta. We will say that the frequency of photon can be equal to or it can be. Here I remind that the angle theta changes in the range from zero to pi. It means that in the first case the frequency nu changes from the nu zero minus two nu bar to nu zero plus nu bar. And in the second case the frequency change from nu zero minus nu bar to nu zero plus two bar. The relation between frequency and the angle theta allow us to derive following equation for d nu in the first case. Which gives us The similar equations are obtained also for the second case. We can also express cosine theta via the frequency nu. This expression allows us to determine the area of the band which was introduced above. As it was explained above, the area is proportional to the sinus theta d theta. Hence, we obtain that the band area, which is determined by the absolute value of sinus theta d theta, is proportional to d nu divided by cosine theta. Now we need to insert in the last expression the cosine theta in the case with plus and in the case with minus. 
In this way, we obtain sense of spectral intensity, which is determined by the sinus theta d theta is proportional to the following. And in the second case, if we fix a small frequency range d nu, then we can write expression for both contribution to the spectrum. And we can plot both i plus and i min minus as a function of frequencies. First, we plot the i plus function. It is going to infinity at the point nu zero plus nu bar and the second we plot the i minus function it also going to in infinity By adding both curves together, we obtain the total spectrum. And I will plot it with the red color. In experiments, the sharp edges and peaks are not registered because they are broadened by various broadening mechanisms. Hence, we have obtained a spectrum which is similar to those which was shown at the beginning and have explained the origin of such spectral shape. And then I would like to mention that the formula which was used to relate the frequencies to the orientation of molecular is used to describe the energy difference between the energy levels of two spins coupled by magnetic dipolar interactions. And the peak doublet, which we describe here, are frequently obtained in studying spin pairs. Experimental. With this, I would like to finish my explanation of peak doublet or peak pattern. And thank you for watching.